Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to some more Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Last time, we went to the next big battle in the game. The Yiga Clan attacks. And this time, we're probably going to have a look at some of the uh, extra challenges around the world since quite a few opened up all at once. So, anyway, let's get started. A flower adorned goddess. A young girl from Rito Village wants to make a flowery garland for the local goddess statue, but she can't find the type of bloom she needs. The Rito girl's face lit up when she saw the rare flower Link had brought her. Even the goddess statue seemed to have a faint smile dancing on her lips. Extra heart for Link. A flyby night operation. After much uh, clamoring from warriors who use the flight range, Rivali has agreed to add a night course. Find some glow in the dark stuff that could be applied to the targets. This will do. The flight range targets, coated with paint derived from the luminous stones, glowed brightly in the night. Start. Staff soon had a flurry of applications coming in for the new night course. New midair wire attack combo. Okay. Don't have enough stuff for that. Help them on their way. Some travelers have rented a stable on their way to the Lost Woods. They plan to leave the stables as soon as they've equipped. Uh, they're equipped for the journey. Find what they still need. Work. Equipped for their journey, the travelers head off for the Lost Woods, ending their long stay at the stable. That means the stable is now open for anyone who wants to use it. Woodland Stable is now available. An irresistible aroma. The Goron warriors feeling wary from long days of training are hankering for some tasty rock roast cooked to a nice golden brown why not help them out with with fire some fire starting supplies I can feel the, power. the irresistible aroma of prime rock roast attached many attra attracted many hungry gorons and the well-cooked meal was po uh, polished off in the blink of an eye no longer fatigued, they could now fight at will. Daruk gets an extra heart. Okay. Bounding across the waves. Mifa has added swimming to her daily training regimen. Even for Azora, she is a first-rate swimmer. But she wishes to refine her technique even further by studying how fish traverse the currents. Watching the fish dart nimbly through the water, Mifa had uh, an epiphany about how to refine her own form. She will now be able to fight more efficiently in water as well as on land. Bonus combo for Y. Mount Turan Solitary Masters. Legend has it that an elusive pair of spearmasters live up on Mount Turin. Link uh, will have to take stealthily a, st a stealthy approach if he wants to watch them train without being spotted. Hey. To Link's surprise, the legendary spearmasters of Mount Turin turned out to be Henoxes. Still, watching them train together definitely improved his skills. An extra Y combo in his regular spear attacks. Okay. I think that's all of the main upgrades that we can find around the world for now. Now, we have a few of these uh, icons around the map which have the Divine Beasts logos on them. I don't know if there's one for here. It doesn't look like it. That doesn't look like there's one for here either. But I think those are just side training things, possibly. But we will look at them a little bit later. I want to have a look at some of these other training challenges, so. Impus training. 
have to be Impa. Restricted allies, time limited. We're just going to fight enemies, so. Um, how much rupees do I have? How much of it can I spend fusing weapons? Since I have quite a few that needs to be that need to be fused. Let's do that. It's not a lot of money to just spend doing that, so I might as well. Zelda. Do all that. And last one. There we go. Level 10, 21 damage. And also some extra special effects that I don't actually know about. I really like the light scale trident and I don't want to change the way that Mufa's weapon looks. So I'm going to just fuse all these into it. There we go. And there we go. Level 7 and 34 attack with some extra skills on it. Okay, Daruk, we haven't actually fused any of your weapons yet, so let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Level 4 and 28 damage. That's pretty good. Let's keep going. <laughs> Level 5, 30 damage. Oh, didn't mean to exit out of that. Ravali, you only have two weapons. Okay, let's just fuse that into the Great Eagle Bow, because it looks cool. Obosa who I've been saying the name wrong for, for, for a bit, but anyway. <laughs> Scimitar of the Seven is what I want to keep it looking like. And Link, we have to make a few changes to this, probably. So, let's select his level six Traveler's Claymore. Infuse a few items into that. This spiked Boko um, bat is, looks cool, but I want to keep the, uh, the look of the Traveler's Claymore. Um, let's just fuse the whole row into that, probably. It's not going to have a lot for the spear, though, but that's fine. <laughs> Speaking of the spear, I think I'm going to keep it as the soldier's spear, because there's nothing else that looks really better, I don't think. So let's go ahead and do that, and be very careful with what we select. Because the Traveler's Claymore is what we want to keep... Well, hang on. Yes? Yes. Right. Let's do that. <laughs> Make sure I've got all three weapons still. Yep, looks like it. Cool. Oh, it still wants me to... No mind. That's just going to stay open because it wants me to fuse more into it. How's our levels looking? Um, those are so low. Oh my goodness. I probably won't last long, but I might just level her up a little bit because she's she's always hanging behind a little bit. Let's do. I can probably sink a full thousand into that. Let's do that. Okay, that's probably good for now. Let's figure out what we're doing next. Zelda's training. That's probably a good starting point. Restricted allies. Time and a half. Wait, I forgot. I was going to also do Impus training. Let's get started. Let's do that first, just to not break the line of progress. Let's keep this train of thought in, in line. Oh. That's... Thank you, game, for telling me this. Press CR to summon symbols that you can absorb with your strong attacks to create dupl duplicates. That's useful information. It appears that the Guardian from the future has somehow amplified the power of the Sheikah Slate. Okay. Ooh. Blue or white rabbit shapes. Uh, shaped spirits have been spotted. It said warriors skilled enough to strike one will be rewarded. We've seen one already. But that's not really going to be too important right now.
Oh my goodness, so much power. Let's wait to kill or defeat 400 of these trainees. Let's use our special. Seems like a good plan. Since we've got all the symbols as well. Oh, they, the map just... They fly everywhere. Very nice. Hi, Captain. Everyone, charge! Okay. You said everyone. And that includes me, so... That's a tough act to follow, but we'll do our best. You better. Okay, there's a whole group over here. There's more spawning in everywhere. Let's turn around and use our special. Two hundred KOs, two hundred fifty. Ready to fight. Well, Lady Impa, the aid with all the, f the fiercest moves. Oh my goodness, so much power. So much power! That's gonna clear out that side, let's go back to this side. I probably want to use my special just to make sure I'm not wasting it. Since when the symbols go away, your special doesn't have all the extra stuff in it. 400! I did it! Ahem. I mean, we've all done our part. Hold your positions! Fighting captains have appeared. No need to defeat them. Ow. What do I do? Oh my goodness, I didn't even know I could do that, but anyway. Can I absorb symbols, please? Guess not. Well, there's that one. Ooh, hello. Where am I? Why was I invisible? Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. May this victory carve a path to a better tomorrow. Training has ended. Did the input just like die or something when the game cleared out the area? <laughs> what did, what just happened at the last frame there? Anyway, some new weapons, some new materials. And there we go. Let's see what else we can do now. Probably Zelda's training. There we go. Anything new? Apparently. Also, I'm pretty sure those two things over there I haven't been able to do yet. Which is strange because I should have been able to do them. I can do that one. But the other one I haven't done yet. So anyway. Zelda's training. It's just Zelda against some regular enemies. Zelda's personally seeing to making sure these enemies don't attack anything anywhere. Riding the wind. While in midair, press B to ride the wind. 
that's not very specific at what you're doing. You just press B and you ride the wind. Wow, it's amazing. It's magic. It's crazy how this happens. He's doing a little dance. Look at him. Look at him. He's dancing. He's dancing. I'm going slightly crazy on loading screens at the moment. <sighs> also, hopefully I get some new combos for Zelda, because she's only got two specials, other than a double X one. That one's just pressing X twice. And then the other ones that she has is Bomb, and that. That's all of her moves. I exert my will. Oh, hey, look at that. Also, I should be using my runes as much as possible. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, wow. Zelda, you can do that? I had no idea. Also, we have to defeat 300 enemies and we're just blowing up everything. Probably because we leveled up Zelda to level 20, which is uh, the second highest. So, oh wow, there's a lot of things here, isn't there? Oh my goodness! I, I, I wish it actually hit everything in that picture, because that would be a lot more than that. <laughs> a whole lot more. So many. Come on. Play them up. Only a few more. I still love how the tower spawns here. Like it is just, it's so cool because you, it's, it's, it's where it is in Breath of the Wild and you get to remember what that place looks like in Breath of the Wild. Hey, there's a, a group of enemies here. There we go. What a relief. I did it. But it's got more moblins spawned in. Boko, Boko Blins is the main enemies that we're fighting here. Okay, let's just go ahead and do that, and then... Oh my goodness, there we go! How about that then? Hey, how you doing? I hope you didn't want to die. Oh my goodness, I broke the metal box from doing that. Oh hey, that works, cool. Thank you, game. Oh, I accidentally did that. Didn't immediately mean to do that, but anyway. Can I actually switch back? Thank you. Hey, goodbye. Success. A victory is certain. Especially when Zelda's level 20. Zelda's training. Victory. There we go, some more rupees to make up for all the ones we've spent. And Zelda's almost level 21. This is fine. So what else can we do now? Well, if the map would load, I could find out. So what do I need for this? Oh, that's interesting. So I need uh, some tentacle things and some Protozalphos, Isolozalphos tentacles and some fire, fire keys wings. And then, but also I can press X to target those items and actually see where I can get them from. And I can actually get them from a few of these challenges that I've already done. But I don't think I'm going to do that, probably, at least not on screen. Although I might be alright to actually just keep playing normally and then get them elsewhere probably to bring the village together to take down the monsters skulking around their town the villagers of Kakariko village must be able to fight as one make prepar 
uh, preparations for a feast that will strengthen their, the villagers' bonds. New power, new hope. After a filling meal of carrots harvested from local farms, the villagers' bonds were much deeper. Impa joined them for an early morning training and was awed by their cooperation. Bonus combo for Impa. Where is... Oh, he's wanting me to train more of my people. I guess I could do that if I were to actually go back and do some more other challenges for items. Also, speaking of going back for items, I can censor these things as well. Uh, it doesn't... Oh, I can actually... Okay. I can get them from yeah. here by... I need the sugar cane. Is that all I can get from here? I don't know how many I need. Mm. It's just buy one for 12 rupees. Aww. How many? Okay, I got enough of that. And I can buy another thing from here. B, honey. Let me buy one of those. I think that's all I need. Okay. And I can I can do it like that. I knew I could do it. I probably should have read the thing. Impa and the young Sheikah all savored a long lazy day, lounging around and stuffing their faces with sweets. Soon they'd be back at work, but in the meantime, it was nice to relax a bit. A new health for Impa. Oh, and we upgraded, we leveled up the region. Kakariko's best babysitter. That was what the, that one was. Okay, what about this one here? Oh, I can get that from this one. That's actually really useful. I don't know why I haven't been doing this already. Of course, there is a stock limit in some of these places, so... Brilliance for the boutique. The owner of a shop tried... Uh, tired of seeing white snow everywhere is... It's just so dr dr dreary. She wants to liven, liven things up by selling colourful goods. Find something... some things that will help. The goods you brought really brightened up the shop and lifted the owner's spirits too. Her shop's uh, snowy feathers is more like a colourful peacock now. Come back anytime. Snowy feathers is now available, which means we can get more items from that. For other places where we need it. But anyway, that is it for this episode of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.